Right, well, we're off for a walk at one scale back to one scale Bothy. Why not come with me? Well, good morning. And you found me out for a walk today. And we're back at Buttermere. And you might think, well, we were at Buttermere last week. Why do we want to come back to Buttermere? Well, it's a good question. But what we're doing today, we've parked at Gatesgarth Farm, which is at the, um, the most eastern point of Buttermy. I don't know whether if we look down there, I don't know whether you can see the lake. Uh, that's the lake. But we've come down here and we're going to walk, uh, or we started walking towards Warnscale Beck, which I'm hoping there might be some impressive waterfalls with um, all the water we've had down these days. And working up the beck to Warn Scale Bothy. Now, I've been to Buttermere many times and I've been to Warn Scale Bothy a number of times, but I've never actually been along this route. Previously, when I've been to Warn Scale Bothy, I've come via parked at Hon top of Honister Pass and walked over the top. Whereas this time, I've walked, parked at Buttermere and we're going to walk up it so yeah it should be interesting what I was thinking was the light wasn't going to be brilliant today although at the moment it's looking as though it could be a lot better than I was anticipating from the forecast a couple of days back um, but it was looking as though it was going to be dry so hopefully we can get some good images with all the rain recently I'm hoping that the back will be pretty full and there'll be some fairly interesting cascades, waterfalls to capture images of. So yeah, that's um, that's why we're here. Yeah, if we look there behind me now, you can see, see the lake, but we're walk, gonna be walking away from the lake up between Fleetwood Pike and Haystacks. Um, I will link um, probably definitely in the end screen last week's video of the walk around Buttermere because I did point this out so yeah it's quite good so anyway I've rambled quite a bit let's get on with the walk and see what we can find and we'll see you a little bit later right well we've come up with our first composition and first waterfall and we can see it there and as we look up if I um, zoom in and go up you can see there's lots of different waterfalls and cascades going all the way up so what we're going to do is as I say we've we've captured this one here and then we'll maybe take different slight different compositions and then we're going to slowly work our way up and somewhere up near the top is one scale bothy which is our aim. There's quite a lot of spray here I'm having to, to wipe the, um, the lens and the filter quite a bit but the composition I've done is more or less as you see in the video camera here um, but what I'm going to do is zoom out a bit and get a more wider one and get some of the peaks in as well and get the, the waterfall in its environment so to speak so yeah, it's um, yeah. There's some mist and then some clouds, but there is some blue sky as well. So, yeah, hopefully we're going to have a great day. So, yeah, this is the first composition, um, and we'll put this up on the video after this, along with any others, and then we're going to slowly work our way up. So, anyway, we'll see you a little bit later.
Right, well we've come to another composition, I have, yeah, which you'll have seen, taken a couple of images as we've got up to this point, but I thought I'd vlog this one because I really like the look of this one. And we're going to um, record it through the back of the stills camera as well. So yeah, you can see the back of the camera there. And what I like is I've got the waterfall coming down here. I've got the overflow here. And then I've got this sort of pool here and I've got um, a circular polarizer on so it cuts down the glare so you can actually see the stones and that beneath the water. Just to remind you that the, the video here is slightly narrower than the actual image will be. The image will be uh, 2 by 3 whereas this is 19, 16 by 9 so yeah I think it's uh, it's quite a good image and oh, the vlogging camera is starting to slide there. so yeah we'll, we'll take the image at different uh, ex exposure values and we'll see what we come out with but yeah I think this is going to be quite a good one and uh, we'll put this up and we'll see you a little bit later Right, and we find ourselves with another composition. I mean, put up, possibly put up a couple of handheld shots that I took on the way up here. But this is quite interesting. It's a bit of a canyon, which you don't see till you're almost on top of it with the, the water gushing through. It reminds me a little bit of Aero Force, the, the sort of way the water's crashing against the rocks and coming down. And I've taken two different compositions one sort of an intimate one virtually zoomed in so all you're seeing is the waterfall and then one zoomed out a bit more akin to what we're seeing on the video here just giving it showing it it's in its environment I don't know which will be best but I'll show one is quite good and we'll put it up on the video after this so yeah there's just numerous numerous options here and we're not we've still got quite a way to go yet so we'll put this one up which ever is the best and then we'll start heading on up higher so whatever happens 
We'll see you a little bit later. Right, I'm going to insert this in the middle of the video. Just like people to remember, if you're enjoying the video, please kick the thumbs up. And if you enjoy what I'm doing, please subscribe. When I left home, I was 12 subscribers short of 500. It would be brilliant if I could get to 500 before the end of the end of February, which might be a bit difficult, but we'll see. I mean, this won't be going up till I think this goes up on the um, 25th of February. So, but yeah, please subscribe and help me reach that goal, and that will help the algorithm to promote my videos if you think they're worth promoting and that other people might get enjoyment from them so there is that just to say there will be a map put up at the end of where I've been I think what I must have done last time although I thought I'd recharge the batteries for the GPS I obviously didn't so they were definitely charged this time and they seem to be holding up all right as far as I know. I haven't touched it up to the GPS. Yep, just looking at it now, it's still going. So that will have recorded that so the map will go up at the end. And I'll be going out tomorrow to do another video to go up the weekend I come back from Iceland. I'm not planning on actually doing any uploading any videos while we're there although I will be recording and the videos will go up afterwards and the idea of tomorrow's video I haven't worked out where I'm going to go but I'm going to talk about camera settings and how I manage my camera settings particularly with custom settings and how I use those to make life easier so that'll be the subject of the next video but yeah and we'll get back to and carry on with the video, today's video. Right, we're now slightly leaving the the back behind. We've come over to the actual footpath going up the back. We're just um, just following the back and doing the best we can. But now we're coming onto this footpath and we're heading up to the Bothy now. So. Yeah, we'll see you a little bit later. Right, well we've made it up to the, the bothy and the last bit took me a bit by surprise because um, I was thinking which way does the path go? I'll go this way just round there and we'll see how much further it was and, and there it was. So there we can see it. Um, what I will put up, I've just done a bit of b-roll. Um, when I got here there was a guy with a load of land, lighted lighting candles putting rose petals out um, for his friend who has just arrived up and proposed to his girlfriend and she said yes that's quite good so I'll just put the video of that so yeah what we're going to try and do is we'll maybe go inside in a minute and try and get a picture out the window looking to the lake it's not looking very good as you can see at the moment the clouds really come down and then maybe do the the iconic image which is let's come up to the on the back here and I'll show you all right which, uh, let's clamber up a bit. Oh. It's, uh, it's a bit. Some of these um, things are a bit dodgy here. But, uh, 
I'll just come up and that and they'll and maybe across a bit. Oh, whether we'll come up with the camera, I'm not quite sure, but we'll come up there to show you. Oh, yeah, that's um, all right. Bring the camera, that's the iconic image with the bothy and uh, Buttermere behind. So, yeah, hopefully, we'll get uh, be able to catch an image. I don't know whether this cloud is staying or going or whatever. So, yeah. We'll see what we can do and we'll see you a little bit later. Right, well, the couple who had the proposal have now gone, so I'm inside and I'm taking a shot through the, or capturing an image through the window here. You can see there's the um, camera and there's the window there. It's, it's all blown out. And what I am using just to light the near scene, I've bought um, from Lumen Cube um, a mini panel, I think, or panel mini. Um, just to try and add some light so that's there so yeah I mean basically we're doing taking two images I've taken two images one perfectly exposed for the view outside and then another perfectly exposed and focused for the inside for the wall etc and then we'll blend the two together which hopefully will give um, quite a good image so yeah so that's that's the one there so right yep yeah, so we'll see you a bit later Right, you find me on my way back to the van now. We're on our way down. We've come down most of the way from Warnscale Bothy. Yeah, it's a bit of a trudge down and a trudge up, but yeah, I think I think we've had a good day. I was surprised at how many cascades, waterfalls there are. I did capture the images of a number, and there was ones that I didn't that I could have done, but. If I'd done that, I probably be, would have never got to one scale Bothy. So there we go. It's well worth a visit, this. Lots of waterfalls. And I want to apologise for the, the latter bit of the video. When I got up to one scale Bothy, is, as you'll have seen, and there was a guy putting candles, although they were imitation candles, and imitation rose petals out for his friend who arrived shortly after that with his girlfriend and he proposed to her. So obviously I stayed out of the way. Um, but that did me not, not me, well not knock me sideways. I got my impetus of what I was going to do, where I was going, etc. just sort of evaporated a bit. Um, you will see that I took a picture from outside and hopefully that I mean, that'll be interesting because it was very, at that point, the clouds came down. It was very misty, so I'm not quite sure how that'll come out. I mean, I have got better ones, but uh, yeah, that'll show you the view, etc. And then after the vacated, the Bothy, I did do the one through the window, which is an iconic one, which in effect, as I said at the time, is two images blended together, one for the inside and one for the outside. So hopefully that'll come out well and it'll look good 
probably thinking about it it's a square window so we'll make it a square crop but uh, I'm not quite sure you've already seen that so but yeah it's been a good day I have recorded a bit that I'll put in the middle and talk about what I'm going to do on the next video but uh, as you see this video if you're still watching at this point and thank you very very much if you are still watching at this point I will be on my way to Iceland possibly on the plane so that should be good so we'll hopefully get some great images and some great video while we're in Iceland so yeah I think that's about it just to remind you if you've enjoyed the video and you haven't already done please click the thing thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed and you enjoy what I'm doing and you do regularly watch me please subscribe it does help the algorithm to promote the video and then other people if you're getting enjoyment other people can get that enjoyment as well and I do ask people do comment I do appreciate all comments and I do answer all comments at the moment I mean if it suddenly takes off and there's thousands which I can't imagine really but one never knows I might be a bit more difficult but certainly at the moment I do answer all comments and as I said after we've been to Iceland I'm going to start doing some challenges be that um, just do black and white just use a certain lens on on a video and we'll see how that goes that should just uh, mix it up a bit and that's so yeah so anyway we'll see you on the next video